Hello everybody and welcome to Hinchcliffe Stadium in New York for today's game between the New York Black Yankees and the Pittsburgh Crawfords. Let's go over that Crawfords lineup for you. Leading off and playing center field is Cool Papa Bell. Batting second is the left fielder Vic Harris. Batting third is the first baseman Oscar Charleston. Batting fourth is the catcher Josh Gibson. Batting fifth is the third baseman Judy Johnson. Batting sixth the shortstop Chess Williams. Batting seventh is the right fielder, Jimmy Crutchfield. Batting eighth is the second baseman, Lemore Nor Leroy Morney. And batting ninth and doing the pitching is Satchel Page. Let's look at that Black Yankees defense. Doing the pitching today is going to be Otis Starks. Starks had a good season last year. They're looking for some more out of him this season. Doing the catching is going to be Clark. Up the middle, you got Scales and Yancey. On the corners, you got Thomas and Kennedy. In the outfield, you got Jenkins, Thomas, and Spearman. Starks is getting his sign as Cool Papa Bell steps into the batter's box. And here comes the first pitch of the ball game. There's going to be a base hit in the left field for Cool Papa Bell. And he is on. Bell's got a good lead over at first. See if he takes off. And there he goes, and here comes the throw from Clark. And they are not going to get him, and there's a stolen base for Cool Papa Bell. Here's Vic Harris. Harris has had a big game in the first game of the season. He went two for, he went, excuse me, he went four for six with a triple and a home run and four RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Starks. That is going to be a walk. So Harris is on with a walk, and here comes Oscar peanuts, Charleston. Peanuts, get your peanuts here. Here comes the pitch. And Charleston drives that one to the gap. That's going to be down. Could score both runners as he puts it over Spearman's head. And then Harris is going to hold at third. Bell will score easily. And we're three batters in, and it's one nothing Crawfords. They had a great game their first game of the season where they battered the Chicago American Giants. They won 13-3. And here comes, it looks like they are charging up the bats again and going to try to take down the Black Yankees. And here comes Josh Gibson, the big, powerful catcher. And here comes the pitch from Starks. It's going to be a ground ball right back towards the mound. Starks has it, and he's going to throw him out. Holds the runners, but no. He took off late. Vic Harris took off late. I thought they were going to have him, but Thomas just held on to it. It's now 2 nothing Crawfords. Weird play right there. I don't know why Starks didn't look back to home, but he picked it up and tossed it over to Thomas and Harris. Stopped halfway and then took off for home. It makes it two to nothing. And here comes Judy Johnson. Man on third. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball over towards Scales. And he's got it. He throws him out, and that's going to score the run. It's now 3 nothing Crawfords as Charleston scores on that play. And here's Chess Williams. Here comes the pitch. There's going to be a fly ball out towards left field. Jenkins will have it, and that will end the inning. So the Crawfords get three runs on two hits. It's 3 to nothing. And let's go over that Black Yankees lineup leading off and playing first. Is going to be or in right field is Splo Spearman. Batting second is the left fielder Fast Jenkins. Batting third is the second baseman Tubby Scales. Batting fourth is the center fielder Hawk Thompson. Batting fifth is the catcher Eggie Clark. Batting sixth is the third baseman Rev Kennedy. Batting seventh is the first baseman Showboat Thomas. Batting eighth is the shortstop Bill Yancey and Batting ninth is the pitcher, Otis Starks. Let's look at the Crawford defense. Pitch today is the legendary Satchel Page, best pitcher in the league. 
and catching him today is going to be Josh Gibson, who is the best catcher in the league. So you're going to see something special today. Is you're going to see the best battery in baseball. And on, on the corners is Charleston and Johnson. Up the middle is Williams and Morney. And the outfield is Harris, Bell, and Crutchfield. Page gets his sign from Gibson. Here comes the pitch to Spearman. And he hits it hard, but it's going to be right at Crutchfield. It's a little fly ball out there. He hit it hard, but Crutchfield right there to make the play. And here's Fats Jenkins. Here comes the pitch from Page. Little tapper back towards the mound. Easy play for Satchel, and he tosses him out. And here comes Tubby Scales. Here comes the pitch. And Scales hits it hard. He's going to put it in the gap between Bell and Harris. And he's going to be on second with a double. And here comes Hawk Thompson. Or excuse me, Hawk Thomas. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he struck him out. So the inning's over. They get one hit, but don't score. We head to the second. 3 nothing Crawfords. Here's Jimmy Crutchfield, hitting 400 on the season. Here comes the pitch, and he smacks that one into the gap. That's going to be extra bases. He puts it between Thomas and Spearman, and is going to be on second with a double. And the Crawfords have the leadoff man on. And here comes Morney. Morney went two for four in the first game, couple RBIs, hitting 500. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be a little tapper over towards short. Should be an easy play for Yancey. He'll throw him out. Crutchfield holds at second. And here comes the pitcher, Page. Here comes the pitch from Starks. He smacks it right at Thomas. And he makes the play, and there are two down. Here's Bell. He's got a single and a stolen base and a run scored. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And he struck him out. So Bell's down on strikes. They get nothing. We head to the bottom of seconds. 3 0 Crawfords. Here's Aggie Clark. He got no hits in the first game of the season. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he struck him out, and there's one away. So Clark goes down, and here comes Rev Kennedy. Here comes the pitch. He struck him out. And there are two down. And here comes Showboat Thomas. There comes the pitch from Page. And this one is going to be a base hit in the right. Thomas pulled it right past Morney in the right field, and he's on with a single. And here's Bill Yancey. Here comes a pitch from Page. And he struck him out. That's going to end the inning. We head to the third, 3 0 Crawfords. Here's Harris. He's got on with a walk his first time up. He scored. And here comes the pitch from Starks. There's going to be a fly ball out towards Thomas. And he makes the catch. And there's one away. Team yearbook, minutes and program. Here's Charleston. He's one for one with a double. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And he slaps it on the ground over towards Thomas. Thomas makes the play. And there are two down, and here's Josh Gibson. Here comes the pitch. And he struck him out. Gibson stood and watched it go by him. And he is out on strikes, and that'll end the inning. We head to the bottom of the third, 3-0 Crawfords. Here comes Starks. 
Pitch from Page. He got him. Line drive right to Judy Johnson, and there's one down. Here's Spearman. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he struck him out. And there are two down. That is the fifth strikeout for Satchel Page. And here comes Fats Jenkins. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball over towards Williams. Easy play, and the inning is over. And we head to the fourth. It's 3 0 Crawfords. Here's Judy Johnson. He grounded out, but a run scored. He's got an RBI. Here comes the pitch from Starks. There's going to be a ground ball over towards Yancey. And Yancey will boot it, and Johnson is on. Johnson trying to get a good leave over first. Starks looks him back, so Johnson will shorten up his lead. Here comes Williams. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball over towards Kennedy. He throws the first. That's going to move Johnson up to second. A little roller. Kennedy charged it and had to make a good throw to first to get him. Johnson advances up to second, and here's Crutchfield with one out. Crutchfield one for one today with a double. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And he walked him. Crutchfield's on with the walk, and we got now runners on first and second. One out for Morney. Morney grounded out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And he walked him, and that's going to put the bases loaded for Satchel Page, who's 0 for 1 today. So bases loaded, one out. Here comes the pitch to Page. And he struck him out. That's the third strikeout today for Starks. It's a big strikeout to keep that score at 3 to nothing. And here comes Cool Papa Bell, who's 1 for 2. The single and a run scored. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And he struck him out. He hit the corner with it in the inning. It gets a, Starks gets a couple of big strikeouts to end the inning. And we head to the bottom of the fourth. It's still 3-0 Crawfords. Here comes Tubby Scales. He's one for one with a double. Here comes the pitch from Page. Gonna be a ground ball over towards Charleston. And Charleston will boot it. And Scales is on with the do the air to Oscar Charleston. And here comes Hawk Thomas, who's 0 for 1 today. Struck out back in the first. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he walked him. That's gonna be the first walk of the day for Satchel Page. And the Black Yankees have runners on first and second, and nobody out for Eggie Clark. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he struck him out. He gets Clark on strikes. There's one away. And here's Rev Kennedy. Kennedy over one, struck out back in the second. Here comes the pitch from Page. That's a ground ball over towards Johnson. He's going around the horn with it. They do turn the double play. Ends the inning. We head to the fifth. Three nothing Crawfords. Here's Vic Harris. He's 0 for 1. He walked in the first, flew out in the third, has a run scored. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And that's a base hit for Vic Harris. A little base hit in the right field. Here's Charleston, 1 for 2 with a double and an RBI. Here comes the pitch. That's going to be a ground ball to third. Kennedy's going to go to second with it. They get one. Will not get Charleston for the double play. So it was Charleston safe with one out. And here comes Josh Gibson. Gibson 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch. 
There's going to be another ground ball over towards Kennedy. He's going to second with it. They're not going to get Cro Gibson. So Scales having a hard time turning that double play, and it's now two outs here with a man on first. And here comes Judy Johnson, 0 for 2 today. Reached on an error in the fourth. Here comes the pitch. And again over towards Kennedy, and he's going to throw him out. And the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Three nothing Crawfords. Here's Thomas. He's one for one today. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he walked him. So Showboat Thomas is on with a walk. And here's Bill Yancey. Yancey 0 for 1, struck out. Pitch from Page. There's going to be a pop-up over towards Morney. He's going to make the play. And there is one down. Here's Starks. Starks 0 for 1. Here comes the pitch. There's a line shot right at Charleston. Thomas didn't even move off that bag. And there are now two down with a runner on. And here's Splo Spearman. He's 0 for 1. Here comes the pitch from Page. And that's going to be a little tapper towards Charleston. Easy play for him. He'll take it himself. And the inning is over. We head to the sixth. 3 0 Crawfords. Here's Chess Williams. He's 0 for 2 today. He flew out in the first, grounded out in the fourth. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And there's a fly ball out towards center field. Thomas is going to make the catch, and there's one away. There's Jimmy Crutchfield. He's 1 for 1 today with a double and a walk. And here comes the pitch from Starks. And Crutchfield slaps at that one. That's going to be down for a single. Spearman gets it in, holds him there. And Crutchfield is on with a single here in the sixth. Crutchfield trying to get a good lead over there. Won't get it. He's pretty close to the bag now. Here comes Morney. Here comes the pitch from Starks. That's a base hit up the middle in the center field. Crutchfield will hold at second. So the Crawfords got runners on first and second, one out. And here comes Satchel Page. Here comes the pitch. A little ground ball over toward Kennedy there, really hitting him a lot towards third. And he makes a good play at second. Scales again can't get Page on that double play ball. And here's Cool Papa Bell, who's one for three. He has struck out twice today. Here comes the pitch from Starks. And Bell slaps that one into the outfield. It's going to be down in front of Spears. It's a base hit. One run is in. Page to third. And Bell makes it four to nothing. Crawfords. And Bell getting a good lead over there as Harris walks in up to the plate. See if he takes off. And Bell takes off, and here comes the throw, and they're not going to get him. And Bell will steal second. And here is Vic Harris. You knew that steal was coming, but you just can't do anything about it as Bell is just so quick. Here comes the pitch. And that's a base hit in the right. Bell is going to score. That's going to be two runs in. It's now six to nothing, and that is going to be all for Otis Starks. And we're going to have a pitching change, and we'll be right back. New pitcher for the Black Yankees is Connie Rector. Rector's got Charleston. He's just got to get one here in the six. He's got to get Charleston. Six nothing Crawfords. Peanut, here comes the peanut, pitch. Get your peanuts here. There's a little pop up over towards short. Yancey will step on over behind second base and will make the catch. And the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the sixth. Six nothing Crawfords. Here's Fat Jenkins. He's 0 for 1, 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch from Page. 
There's going to be a fly ball over towards right field. Crutchfield's under it, and he's going to make the catch. And there is one down. Here's Tub Tubby Scales. He's one for two with a double and an error. Reached on an error. And here comes the pitch from Page. And he struck him out. Scales swings through it. And it's now strikeout number seven on the day. And here comes Hawk Thomas, who's 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. Here comes the pitch. And Thomas hits it deep, way back in the right center, left center, and it is gone. A home run for Hawk Thomas off of Satchel Page, and it's now 6 to 1. Here's Eggy Clark. He's 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch. And he hits one deep out towards the warning track. Harris is going to have it. And there are two down. Or that's the inning. So the Black Yankees get one. We head to the seventh. It's six to one. Here's Gibson facing Connie Rector. Gibson 0 for 3 today. And he struck him out. So Rector gets Gibson on strikes. And there is one away. And here's Judy Johnson who's 0 for 3. Here comes the pitch. There's a line shot right at Yancey. And there are two down, and here's Chess Williams. Williams 0 for 3 today. Here comes the pitch, and he smacks that one. That's gonna be extra bases. It's gonna get over Thomas's head, and Williams is gonna be into third with a triple. And he's rounding it, and he's heading for home. It might be an inside-the-park home run. And here comes the throw from Thomas. And he got him at the plate. Williams will get credit for the triple. the bottom of the seventh on an exciting play to end the Crawford's first half as he was thrown out at the plate. Chess Williams was thrown out on a fantastic throw by Thomas to end the inning. So here we are, 6-1, bottom of the seventh. Here's Rev Kennedy. He's been a busy man over at third base. And they hit a lot of balls over there. And here comes the pitch from Page. Kennedy's 0-2. And he struck him out, strikeout number eight for Satchel Page. And here comes Showboat Thomas, who made that fantastic play back in the second. And here comes the pitch from Satchel Page. There's a ground ball over towards Charleston, easy play. Here's Bill Yancey. Here comes the pitch. Yancey 0 for 2. There's a ground ball over towards Judy Johnson. He's going to throw him out. We head to the 8th. It's 6-1 Crawfords on your home for Stratomatic Baseball. Here's Jimmy Crutchfield. He's 2 for 2 today. He's got a double, a single, and a walk. And here comes the pitch from Rector, who came in relief of Otis Starks. Here comes the pitch. There's going to be a pop-up over towards Kennedy. And like we said, he has been very busy over there at third. Here's Leroy Morney. Morney one for two with a single and a walk. Here comes the pitch from Rector. There's a fly ball out towards Spearman. He's going to make the catch. And there are two down. Here's Page. He's 0 for 3, but he does have a run scored as he was on a reached for, on the base in the sixth. And here comes the pitch from Rector. There's a ground ball towards short. It'll be an easy play for Yancey. And the inning is over. And we head to the bottom of the eighth. It's 6-1 Crawfords. 
Here's Connie Rector, who is a fantastic hitting pitcher. And Page sets and delivers, goes into his windup, and he delivers. Rector puts it in play. And it's going to be a base hit up the middle. Williams and Morney could not get up to it. And Rector is on. And here comes Splo Spearman. And we're going to have a pinch runner for Connie Rector. So pinch hit running for Rector is going to be Paul Dixon. Dixon's got a good lead over there. Let's see if he takes off. He will not. He will shorten up that lead. And here's Spearman. Spearman 0 for 3 today. Here comes the pitch from Page. And he struck him out. So Spearman goes down on strikes. That is the ninth strikeout for Satchel Page. And here comes Fats Jenkins. Here comes the pitch. And he smacks it into the corner and that's gonna send Dixon all the way over to third. Jenkins will hold at second with a double. And here's Scales. I thought they were gonna send Dixon, but they decided not to. So they got runners on second and third. One out here in the eighth. And here comes Tubby Scales. Here comes the pitch from Page. It's going to be a ground ball towards Williams. He's going to make the play easily. Throws him out, but the run will score. And Jenkins advances the third. And here comes Hawk Thomas. He's one for two. He's got a home run and a walk. And he also made a fantastic play to throw out Chess Williams at the plate. And here comes the pitch from Page. And he walked him. So it looks like Paige is tired and that's going to be the end for him and we're going to take a break and we'll have a new pitcher when we come back. So Sam Streeter is your new pitcher. He's got runners on the corners. He's got to get them out of this jam and here's Aggie Clark who's 0 for 3 today. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be smacked into the gap. That's going to score one, possibly two. Thomas will hold at third. It's now six to three. And here's Rev Kennedy, 0 for three today. Here's the pitch. And he hits it deep way back and this one is gonna be gone. It's a three run shot for Rev Kennedy. And the Black Yankees tie it up at six here in the eighth. And here comes Shobo Thomas. Holy cow, Sam Streeter comes in, gives up a hit and a home run, and we are now tied. Here's Shobo Thomas. This one looked like it was gonna be all Crawfords as Satchel Page was cruising through eight and then hit a wall here as the New York Black Yankees score five. There's gonna be a new pitcher, we'll be right back. All right, now pitching for the Black Yankees is going to be Henry McHenry. And here's Cool Papa Bell. He's two for four today. Has two stolen bases. Here comes the pitch. And he struck him out. And there's one away. Here's Harris. Who's two for three and has a couple of RBIs. Here comes the pitch from McHenry. And there's going to be a ground ball towards Thomas. And he steps on the bag. And there is one, two down. And here is Oscar Charleston. Here comes the pitch. And he got him to pop it up. Scales makes the play. And the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the ninth. 6-6. Six, six. Here's Yancey. He's 0 for 3 today. Team your books, minutes, and programs. There's going to be a pop-up behind second. Morney will have it, and there is one away. Here's McHenry. And here comes the pitch. And 
That's going to be a base hit up the middle. And the pitcher is on. And here's Slow Spearman. Here comes the pitch from Streeter. And he hits a pop-up over towards Charleston. He'll make the play. And here's Fats Jenkins. Jenkins, one for four, has a double. Here comes the pitch from Streeter. Another little pop-up over towards Morning. He's going to make the play, and the inning is over. And we head to the 10th. It's 6-6. Here's Gibson. He's 0 for 4 today. Here comes the pitch from McHenry. And he hits that one deep, and that one is going to be long gone as Gibson parks that one into the seats. It's now 7-6 Crawfords as Josh just, Gibson just gives them a one-run lead. And here comes Judy Johnson. Johnson 0 for 4 today. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball to short. Yancey should have it. And he makes the play, and there is one down. Here comes Chess Williams, 1 for 4 today. Has a triple. Here comes the pitch. And this one's hit deep, way back, and Thomas hustling. Looks like he might have a play, and he's going to catch it on the track. And there are two down, and here's Jimmy Crutchfield. Excellent play by Thomas. Crutchfield gets the pitch, and that's going to be a little pop-up over towards Yancey, and he's going to make the play in the outfield grass, and the inning is over. But we head to the bottom of the 10th. It's 7-6 Crawfords. New pitcher in for the Crawfords is going to be Leroy Matlack. And here's Tubby Scales. He's one for four today as a double. Here comes a pitch from Matlock. That's going to be a little ground ball over towards Williams. He's going to make the play easily, and there is one down. Here's Hawk Thomas. One for two, has a double, a couple walks. Here comes the pitch from Matlock. That's going to be a fly ball, Arch Hutch Crutchfield, and there is two down. And here comes Eggy Clark. Clark won for four today. Has a double and an RBI. Here comes the pitch from Matlock. That's a ground ball over towards Morney. And it should be an easy play for him. He's charging, picks it up, throws out Clark. And that's going to be the ball game, and the Crawfords improved to 2-0 on the season as they win this game here in the 10th on a home run by Josh Gibson. Your winner today is going to be Sam Streeter. He's 1-0. Matlock gets it, the save. It, your it, your loser is going to be Henry McHenry, and the Black Yankees fall to 0-2. So again, the Crawfords win this one 7-6 on a home run by Gibson in the 10th. They're now 2-0. We thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.